Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly set up a cron job, which is going to auto-save your running config in the background so you can get through your labs comfortably and worry-free. So we'll go ahead and get started here. So we'll jump into our configuration. There's nothing in here. So we'll start by naming our script. And then save, of course. Description. Save the config. And we've got to give it a location, which is going to be saved and stored locally. Um, say admin. Save. And actually, we'll just keep this shut down. Exit. Um, give it the action. Admin save. Oh. Sure, all of this matches. And the results, we're going to store those locally as well. And we're going to make a new directory to keep things organized. Confirm. Okay. Same thing, just keep that shut down. Exit. So we're going to set up a, so the schedule. So this one is going to be a little funky for right now. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to make this a one minute interval. And that's set up by seconds. Obviously you probably wouldn't want to do that. It's a little excessive. So do admin save for the action. And again, no shut. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep it shut down because we still have to do our script. So basically, we're gonna get out of here, go into our file directory. So we're gonna create pi admin save. Pretty simple. So input and forward slash. So you can do this anytime, anywhere. Admin save. Just get out of here. Right quit. Okay, so as you can see now it's here. So just to verify the script is running or the script is there. This gives you the output of that file. And so we said we're also gonna make a directory, so we'll make the directory called outputs. That way everything will be nice and organized. Um when this runs in the background, it saves a confirmation and it stores and it logs it essentially and puts it, dumps it into here. So that's what that, uh, location is here. Outputs confirm from your admin save action. The results get stored into outputs confirm. Okay. So. We're gonna go ahead and turn this up and see what happens here. So script, and then save, no shut. Back, the action. And then save, no shut. And the schedule will be one minute, so. No shut, okay. So that should be it. As you can see, everything is up. We got, let's, just to keep an eye on things, so, it's the description, locations, this is important that this name matches what's in your directory, which is admin save, so those are good to go. Um, and I will go ahead and copy and paste this into the comment section under this video. Now, let's take a look and see. Okay, should be good here while we wait a little bit longer. my time makes sense to me. 
So let's take a look at the log here. So show log, log ID 99. So it's just action so this might have ran before I actually turn up the rest of it. So let's give it a minute. Okay, let's give it a minute here, like I said, in the action script. Oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. So we'll just do as you can see it's not configured. The action script is not configured, so configure cron action admin save. We forgot one piece. So the results, but we need to add the script. Alright. So this is what it looks like. Complete. Guess I had to triple check it. So show log, log ID 99. So it's gonna have a couple more failed attempts probably. Let's just wait a minute here. Okay. So you can see that the process has been saved, it's completed with results of success. So that's pretty much it. Uh, now you can get through your labs without worrying about it and this will just be saving in the background. Um, if you do a show system license you can see that uh, this will be rebooting in 45 minutes so while you're working on your lab you're not really paying attention to them. You know all six of your running routers so just go ahead and copy and paste this config into everything you're using. Uh, the, all the labs essentially build off each other. So this should be a one-time thing, hopefully, theoretically, unless you break something, which will probably happen. So just keep it handy, uh, put it on a text file or something, and just again, dump it into your next router. So thanks for watching.